Two nine on the 31 Nights of Halloween Horror. They thought that they were going to have lots of fun on their fall break. But instead, they find themselves fighting for their lives. Tonight's movie, The Mutilator. Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of The 31 Nights of Halloween Horror! I just elbowed my videos there. <laughs> Worst apocalypse ever! Yes! 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 Coming off of last night's uh, <laughs> confusing, uh, <laughs> messed up, uh, weird, uh, Movie a Death Smiles on a Murderer. I mean, she was pretty lovely, though. I mean, honestly. So, we are now on to episode number 18. And tonight, tonight, tonight. Tonight, tonight, tonight. I thought, you know what? Giallo was a go-to genre for me so far this year, but you know what? Sometimes we have to go to the old go-to genres once again, and we all know what that is, and that is the cheesy 80s slasher flicks. And yes, tonight we have another one in that beautiful, beautiful, beautiful genre, and that is the movie of The Mutilator, otherwise known as Fall Break, or it was originally called Fall Break, in fact. Um, <laughs> depending, I don't know if like all versions of the movie have the title Fall Break in there, but the, the version I watched says Fall Break and has a really nifty uh, tune at the beginning. Fall Break, Fall Break, yeah. Anyways, what is the mutilator about? Well, it, it starts off with a nice little family uh, scene. The mother is making a birthday cake. Apparently the father's birthday is today. And so the son is going to make his gift. And that gift is uh, cleaning the father's rifles, guns. Yes, what could possibly go wrong? Well, you know, he starts cleaning one and then... As a kid, kids sometimes do, uh, apparently uh, the father did not teach proper um, gun safety to this kid. He started playing with it, and of course uh, the father doesn't practice proper gun safety either because it was loaded, and the kid shoots the mom dead. Father comes home and of course does what every uh, buddy who finds their wife accidentally shot dead by their kid, um, drags the wife's body into the living room and goes, has a drink while the uh, cops show up. Yeah, so anyways, fast forward. The kid is now, I believe, in college or so. And uh, him and his friends are at a bar and they're trying to figure out what they're going to do for the fall break. And oh, and behold, the son gets a call and it's a dear old dad. And he wants him to go up to their cabin near the lake and uh, close it down for the season. And of course, he doesn't really want to do it, but the friends go, no, this is a perfect opportunity to have fall break, fall break. Anyways, <laughs> anyways, <laughs> so, so yeah, they convince him and they all get into the car. And what we have is straight out of an 80s sitcom <laughs> going on. Uh, basically the credits are uh, playing the fall break uh, music and uh, they're doing zany wild things uh, on their road trip, uh, smoking, drinking, uh, playing pranks on on them each other, and uh, avoiding the police. Uh, yeah, it's a very, very uh, you know, <laughs> you would say uh, sitcom esque uh, title sequence. In fact, I was wondering if they were just going to say, "Oh, the mutilator has been uh, not." <laughs> The mutilator has been, has been shot in front of a live studio audience. Yes, anyways, anyways. So, of course, they get to the, the cabin. The father's still there, but passed out drunk uh, in this uh, little shed thing, whatever, off of the, uh, the garage. Um, and uh, he wakes up and decides to kill them all. Yeah, so let's get 
to those scores, shall we? Violence and gore, I am going to give this one a 4 out of 5. You know, if you're going to call the movie Mutilator, you're going to have to live up to it. And honestly, there are some gross things going on. You get a, a nice uh, boat motor kill, um, some things with hooks. Uh, of course, a decapitation. Always love decapitation. Dismemberments. Uh, yeah, it's it's... It's a, it's a nasty little movie, uh, and so yeah, four out of five. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Love to see it. Love to see it. Oh, of course, practical effects too. <laughs> CGI is for dorks. <laughs> Anyways, moving on to Shock Valley. I'm going to give this a three out of five. Yes, there are a couple good uh, jumps in this movie, but the shock is mostly in the executions, especially one with a hook that um, apparently <laughs> I'm surprised. <laughs> Uh, that they even attempted to do, and um, I'm not surprised that it probably doesn't show up well in the uh, un in the rated version. But I think in the unrated version, you really get that gets the hooks into you, <laughs> so to speak. Anyways, uh, so three out of five plot, two out of five. Honestly, it's it's you know derivative. You know you got to get the kids somewhere uh, out of safety, out of their normalcy, and uh, Honestly, there's not too much to the actual uh, movie itself, except for kids, you know, kids, I guess, uh, young adults, whatever, college students, they, 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 uh, they go to a place, they're horny, they're trying to, like, you know, mess around with each other, they're having fun, and somebody's slowly but surely picking them all off one by one, you know, still, you know, wash, rinse, repeat, nothing new, uh, pretty... Pretty basic, um, honestly, not really any depth to it at all. So, two out of five, but you know what? That's not what we're watching this movie for now, is it? No! Okay, so let's go to acting. Uh, two and a half out of five. Um, yeah, it's it's your basic, average 80s uh, horror movie acting. Um, some good performances, some yeah performances, and some, uh, yeah, why are you in this film? Oh, you're probably like the friend of a friend, and they needed to, like, fill apart, you know, for this. Anyways, so, anyways. Two and a half out of five. Uh, nudity, I am giving this a one out of five. Yes, there was much more opportunity for this movie, but maybe, you know, they could only get one person to, uh, you know, come up with a, a one person to uh, agree to uh, bear anything. And uh, she's kind of nice, uh, but kind of brief anyways. Uh, swimming pool uh, scene, which is oh, a swimming pool out by the lake, but, you know. Yeah, I guess it happens. <laughs> Anyways, so uh, one out of five. Uh, enjoyment factor is a four out of five. I just, I just love, I just love these movies. The, just the, the entire package, the the cheesy opening song, the cheesy opening song being in the ending and showing um, some of like I guess outtakes in a, in a way. Uh, really bookends this film in a really weird way. <laughs> Because it's very silly. Um, but in the middle of the meat, you get some nice gory kills. You do get uh, some titties. And so, you know what? It does its job of being a entertaining, popcorn-munching, cheesy 80s slasher flex. Four out of five. <laughs> a good time to have with friends. Just, just start riffing on the movie and talking about, the, oh, the brutality of it all. Anyways, uh, moving on to overall impression. It is a three out of five. Um, in this genre, um, I'm going to give it some extra points for some of the creativity of the kills. And, <laughs> and yeah, um, that's probably about it. Uh, it does its job. If you want a slasher flick, this is a, a good one to watch. And uh, honestly, uh, not as well known. I mean, I think it's getting a bit more notoriety, but not quite as well known as some of the big boys of the era. But still, worth a watch. The Mutilator, otherwise known as Fall Break. And that averages out to a healthy 2.8 out of 5, which is, you know, pretty good for this type of movie. So, uh, there you have it. Fall Break, The Mutilator. Tell me what you think about it in the comment section below. Have you seen the movie? Do you agree with me? Disagree with me? Tell me what you liked about it, not liked about it, whatever. Anyways, let's, ha let's have a conversation so that we don't just have sex bots filling up the, the uh, comment section and 
Uh, yeah, so that's it. Oh, once again, thank you. Rate, comment, subscribe, yada, yada, yada. And this has been another episode of the 31 Nights of Halloween Horror. <laughs> and remember, kids, remember everyone out there in internet land to stay scary. And if you're at, like, a cottage and there's a lot of trophies of past hunts, and then you have a framed picture of a guy who's been run over by a boat motor and he's dead and the guy who the guy frames it and keeps it with his collection of trophies perhaps perhaps maybe just maybe i don't know i let me get out on a limb here maybe the guy might have some murderistic tendencies you know the most dangerous prey you know? <laughs> yeah